You can easily add a component to your user database. In this example, I will do the ZVN3306 N-Channel Enhancement MOSFET. Begin by starting up the component wizard. I'll give this the name ZVN3306A. Function of this device, N-Channel Enhancement MOSFET. And I want both model and footprint. The footprint is useful anytime you want to use UltiBoard to make your own printed circuit board with this device. Notice there's a huge list of footprints. Let's tame this list a bit with some filtering. I want to search on the footprint column. So I'll pick footprint. For the operator, we'll say that the phrase starts with FET, and I'm looking for the T092 package. Filter is on, and we see that the list is considerably smaller to dig through. The one that is of interest here is the TO92-3Y version. I need to promote the number of pins to three. Next, I want to copy a symbol from the existing master database. If you can find a device that's using the same symbol as what you're working on, and in this case, I can use the existing device provided by Multisim, then you're in good shape. You don't have to draw things from scratch. Now the source connects to the source, drain connects to the drain, gate connects to the gate. Now I need to provide a name of the SPICE model. I'll give it the same name, ZVN3306A. The model data I have available from ZTEC. Their copyright notice says that this is a free of charge model and it can be redistributed provided that you follow the guidelines that they express there. I'll go ahead and paste that in. And at this point I need to match up the SPICE model with the symbol pins. Now this can be initially a little bit confusing but we simply take the order as printed here. Drain gate source goes as 1, 2, and 3. gate is 2 and source is 3. Let's go back and just make sure that, that makes sense. Drain gate source would be the three linkages to the sub-circuit and they have to go in this order. Alright, we're on step 8 of 8. Find a place for it in your user database. Probably under transistors would make sense. I had earlier created a family called NMOS and let's go ahead and select that one. You can always create an additional family of your own. That's what I did here with the one called Demo. But I'll go ahead and use NMOS. Now I had made this one earlier so that's why I'm being prompted to overwrite it. And I'll go ahead and do that. Alright, this worked great. Now anytime you need to find this uh, later on Go to the place where you normally get components. Now, instead of selecting master database, you would pick the user database. Navigate to your family here, and you'll find your device showing up. If you had lots of components here, you would do the usual search techniques. I'll just go ahead and double click that one, and I've placed the component. All right, that was pretty easy.